last severe second whilst history remains with us forever. It amazes me how many a fickle fashion follower can turn their back on their heritage when the most exciting and creative ideas in the future are shaped in the melting pots of the past. Hello YouTube Explorers. I'd like to thank all my subscribers and viewers for watching my videos and supporting me over the years. Without you guys, there wouldn't be any videos, basically. Okay, uh, one of the very first sets of cards that I obtained was a set of Rubon T's uh, Butterflies of the World. This set of cards was issued way back in 1904, and is of European butterflies and moths. Um, okay, let's run through them. I've put a full list of all the uh, moth and uh, butterfly names in the description over there. I really like butterflies and moths because of all the uh, unusual patterns and multi-colours that you get. There isn't a, a better example of how artistic a nature can be. There's the red admiral butterfly. The uh, scarcer swallowtail. Uh, the large tortoise shell. Just think, these... This set of cars was issued before the aeroplane was invented and when the motor car was in its prime, most people were using the horse and carts as their main mode of transport, or bicycle perhaps. And Einstein was uh, configuring his uh, theory of uh, relativity towards the shell, the small one. It's amazing how things have changed over the past 100, 100 years. Perhaps some of these moths and uh, butterflies are quite scarce now. Um, there are lovely, there are detailed descriptions on the backs. And I just love the kind of graphic uh, design of the uh, very early cards. They're almost as attractive as the illustrations on the front. It would have been nice if I knew the artist who actually drew these pictures. But unfortunately, as with a lot of the early cards, they didn't actually sign them. Uh, but later on in the 20s and 30s, they did, uh, the, the artists did start to uh, put their signatures on as they realised the uh, power of celebrity. And like with uh, the early films, the very, very early films, they didn't bother crediting the actors. But as time went by, they found out that they could improve the popularity of their films by, by including the names of the actors. OK, thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items please feel free to pop by at my website at creamofcards.com I'm afraid we've run out of time but just before you go please leave some stars below and if you found it handy or even mildly entertaining give it a half for half and if you'd like to see more amazing video clips like this subscribe to the track by clicking on the yellow icon up in the sky